So layers can be a really effective way to work. I would encourage you to do it. It'll slow you down on the front end a little bit the first time that you start using layers, uh, but it's going to speed up your workflow tremendously, uh, and it's going to help you stay uh, very organized. And, and so the way that layers work is that we looked at the stoplights, or the traffic light here, that, that lets you control whether something is visible in the viewport. Uh, so I'm forcing that the floor object on in the viewport, which is the same as the default position. If I click it until it's red, then it's turned off in the viewport. So I can temporarily hide that object uh, in the viewport. Same thing with render. So the top one corresponds to uh, um, uh, your, your preview. Uh, the second one corresponds to the actual render. The icon to the left of that, the large bullet, this represents uh, your layers, uh, your, your layer tool. Now there's a couple different ways to open up your layer panel. Should be able to go to window, I'm looking down in here for layer browser, there it is, right in the middle. I can bring up layer browser and that opens up a window. Uh, another way to do it, I'll just close that. Easiest way to do it is just click on this icon and choose layer browser. And so now we get the layer browser. Now the way the layer browser works, you don't have to have the layer browser open in order to manage layers. Uh, you can actually um, manage it really effectively directly inside the object manager. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add the floor object to a layer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little bullet and I'm going to say add to new layer. And it created a little color here. Now this color, every layer that we create, and now we'll go click on this again. Now you see that once we have a layer, we have a few more options. We can remove this object from layer. Um, I'm going to open up the layer browser. Now you see that I have this thing called layer, layer one, I should say layer one, or maybe it's just layer. Uh, but it has a, a color combination, and I could name this layer whatever I want. Maybe I'll call it ENV for environment, short for environment. And if I want everything that has to do with the environment on this layer, what I can do is there's a couple different ways I can manage this. I can, if I want to add my key light to this layer, I can click on that icon and I can say add to layer and choose the layer that I wanted to add it to. Okay, and now that object has been added to the environment layer. Let me undo that. Uh, I can click on this, um, I could add it to a new layer, and I'd get a, a separate layer, but I want all of my environmental objects to be on this environment layer. And so uh, another method of doing this is that I can choose what's called the paint method, which is that if I select uh, the layer icon that I want to add the light, these lights to, I can just click and drag this up and paint across those objects. Now those objects have been all added to the same layer, okay? Let me undo that. Uh, I could also take the light object, click, drag, and drop on the layer. So I could just drag and drop. So it's very intuitive. Now, you're probably saying, Bill, what are you doing? Why are you showing me layers when I should be animating and making this guy walk? That's why I'm taking this class. I want to animate. Well, uh, the layers panel becomes really uh, um, a useful tool in that we could uh, control how we see this content. Now what we can do, these little bullets, these little icons correspond to uh, the visibility of the object. Now there's this S, and if I click on that, what I'm doing is I'm soloing that content that is on that layer. Uh, the term solo allows you just to look at just that content, whatever's on that layer, both in the object manager and in the preview viewport. So I'm looking at only the stuff on that layer, okay? Uh, if I click on that icon uh, under the V, uh, it, it hides everything that's within the viewport, but I can still see it in the object manager. Okay, this R corresponds with the render view. So if I render right now, I can see everything. If I click on this button and I render, I can mute that in the render based on everything that's on the layer. It's a really great feature. Uh, another thing that I can do is I can hide this content based on uh, uh, the object manager. So if I click on that, all of this content that's on this layer is no longer visible in the object manager. Okay, so what I can do is I can hide this in the viewport, I can hide it in the object manager, uh, and at this point I'm just going to leave everything on. And really, I kind of goofed up here because really what I want is not my entire environment. Uh, maybe more appropriately this would be lights. And I want to remove uh, the floor object. So I'm just going to click on this icon and I'm going to say remove from layer. And I want my floor to, to remain in the scene. But what I want to be able to do is just 
hide my lights, and I'll use the layer method to do that. So I'd really encourage you to play around with layers uh, so that it, it will speed up your workflow. Uh, I'm gonna open back up my layer browser and uh, I'll create a new layer and I could do this a couple of different ways. I could just right click and say new layer. I can say file new layer. Of course, you got every option you can think of and I'll just call this my, my walker layer and uh, I'm gonna select my walker and I'll drag and drop that or I could add it to, um, to this walker layer. And uh, you'll see that when you do that, you actually don't get all of the children object that have been applied. So I'll show you a little trick here. So what I mean by that is that I've just added, if I add just the object I have selected, I'm adding just the parent object. So as a demonstration, I'll add just the head. Maybe I'll do the neck too. I'll add the neck to the walker object. Now if I solo that, I'm only looking at the neck, okay? So you gotta be careful of that. I actually want all of these icons to be purple. And uh, I could use that paint method uh, that I showed you and paint all the way across them. Now everything that I see that's visible is in fact on that layer. However, when I solo, you'll see that I'm missing some parts. And the reason I'm missing so many parts is because nested in each one of these, there's some stuff that's missing. So let me just undo and get some of that stuff off the layers. The easiest thing to do, um, I could do a couple different things here. I can right click on the walker. I can say select children. Now I have everything selected and I can drag and drop that stuff onto the walker layer uh, and that adds everything, okay? Another alternative is that I can right click and I could say unfold all and what that's referring to is it unfolds the entire object manager for the object that I have selected. And now I can just paint straight down. Okay, I can right click on that object and say fold all. So it folds everything up. So I'm playing back and forth between some of the functionality of the object manager uh, to make sure that I, I get uh, my layers set the way that I want them to. So I'll unfold all. So uh, get used to a couple of those commands. Um, again, it's going to slow you down to understand how those commands work and, and to get familiar with them, but uh, it's going to speed up your workflow as, as you move forward. So again, it's not a requirement to use layers. Uh, the only requirement here at this point is that you have your object staged and that, um, uh, and that you have this hierarchy established uh, properly. I'm going to start using layers every chance I get uh, just to help manage this stuff. Uh, it'll help when I'm testing and rendering my animations because remember, when I render this, it rendered pretty quickly, but I am going to be rendering 30, 60, 90, a few hundred frames as we go. So I want to be uh, pretty efficient about the information that's in my scene. So uh, we'll catch up in the next presentation and we'll, and we'll start to animate this thing.